Hey guys, welcome back to OG Universe. Today we are taking a look at the McFarlane Toy Spawn Universe, wave number five, Medieval Spawn. Holy crap, I just took this figure out of the packaging and uh, this figure is on visual presentation, stunning. Holy crap, I am blown away how big, chunky this figure feels. It's about seven and a half, almost eight inches tall. It, definitely towers over some of my other figures but this spawn universe line is a bit bigger than your standard six inch figures bit bigger than your seven inch figures it's almost like a 7.5 inch figure sometimes even eight my gunslinger spawn is really tall this figure is a bit tall for sure but holy crap it is a, a stunning work of art just like the packaging there that beautiful artwork this figure looks absolutely amazing all this sculpted detail the silver is a bit of a drawback it's not that beautiful shiny metallic silver that we saw in Shao Kahn um, but the weaponry does look fantastic he has this massive mace he's got a sword that I just slung into the back we'll take a closer look at all those but I just want to show off some of the detail on this figure this skull looks fantastic all the attention to detail on that face as well just beautiful oh, let me show you the face there you go with those glowing piercing eyes the entire body armor it's armor or it could be just the suit kind of symbiotically spreading over his body but it's supposed to be i believe armor so that's another drawback that's pretty much the only drawback besides that silver it needs some dry brushing because you can see a bit of chain mail there. I think I will apply a little bit of metallic silver for the dry brushing just to bring out some of the extra details. But this silver armor is just a rubbery material. I don't think paint will stick too well to that. It's going to be really gummy and sticky. So unfortunately, I'm probably not going to do that. But it does look really nice just at first glance. It's impressive, guys. Let's uh, take a closer look at some of the weaponry that Spawn, Medieval Spawn has, excuse me. So he's got this sword here. Like, I'm just gonna be careful taking it out. This looks absolutely awesome. It is kind of wobbly. It's a little thin on that plastic and uh, does have a gummy, not too gummy feel, just a softer plastic for sure. But you can see all the detail. It has some hieroglyphics there. Some runes, some really nice detail on the hilt. Very nice looking sword. Very cool. Now, let's take a look at the weapon here. Now, guys, just be really careful. The hands are stiff and not as pliable as some other figures, so just be careful. Heat them up with some warm water before you start interchanging the weaponry just to play it safe. But this looks fantastic as well. You can see the spawn logo right there. Thick solid base or top part here with the spikes and they're sharp too, sharp little spikes, but a little gummy here. It's got a little ball on the back. It's pretty nicely done. I really do enjoy that. It looks great. And like I said, the figure is, man, phenomenal. Um, yeah, well, I'll show you some of the comparisons in a moment, but just the detail. Let's get a closer look at that face. Wow. Really nicely done. All this extra attention to detail in the shoulder gauntlets. This is all a softer rubber material. The cape looks fantastic. It just flows out beautifully. And it's a really nice bright red. You got some skulls on the back as well. Again, if you take a look, the armor it does look really heavily textured. It could be the symbiotic, symbiotic skin of the suit. But, man, it just looks so good. And a dry brush would add that so much more detail to it. But, yeah, this is a fantastic, absolutely fantastic looking spawn. Now, for the articulation, the ball jointed shoulders are limited by these rubber pelerons. But it's not a huge deal. Like, I like this figure so much. The aesthetics are so good. But it still does have that. Uh, butterfly hinge there with the extra bit of articulation double jointed ratcheted joints for the elbow a ball joint for the wrist so you can get some movement but it is a bit hindered by the gauntlets you do have some ab articulation that goes up comes down that far the head is pretty good 
has some decent range of movement, you know, not too bad. You do have the ball joints in the thighs. My figure is really tight, so I don't want to play around with it too much. It does have the ratcheted joints, double ball joints in the knees, ball joints in the foot, and it does have that toe articulation as well. Oh man, this uh, this brings back a lot of memories. I think a lot of uh, people from the 90s, a lot of fans of Spawn, probably had the Medieval Spawn action figure in which, man, they made quite a few of them. From static statues to highly posable action figures. But I think this, this might be one of my favorites. The only thing it's kind of missing is a shield. He traditionally has a shield. It would look fantastic if he had it, but it's not the end of the world. I'm sure I can customize a shield somewhere out of my action figure collection and give it to this figure. Now for a size comparison, like I said, it is a bigger figure, you know, but let's see how he looks. Let's kind of give him a little bit of an attitude there. How he looks against the Gunslinger spawn. And Gunslinger Spawn is a tall figure, and these are both about the same height. The hat, of course, is going to give the Gunslinger a bit more height, but they're big figures, man. They really stand out. And let's check them out against, say, Shadow Spawn. See how he looks with him. Now, this figure is a 7-inch figure, excuse me, but um, he's from the Mortal Kombat series. And let's see how he stands against these guys. Let's we'll see how he looks against, yeah, look at that. He is a short little guy compared to Medieval Spawn, which is cool. I think Medieval Spawn should be an imposing, big, badass kind of character. So that really suits him. And even against this guy here, the Gunslinger, you can see there is quite a bit of a height difference as well from these two guys. But um, overall, I'm extremely happy to have this figure. I picked him up at walmart.ca. He uh, was on pre-sale for about a month. And man, he uh, sold out quickly as well as the other figures, Sin and Monolith. Oh, like I said, tough to get those, uh, those weapons in the hand, but man, that looks really nice. And there you go, guys. So this is the Medieval Spawn from Wave 5 of the Spawn universe. I highly recommend you pick this up. Um, man, he is absolutely fantastic. He brings back so many fond memories of collecting Spawn figures when I was a kid. And to have this figure in my possession, in my collection now, with all of the new articulation, paint details, I'm really happy to have this. Brings a, a nostalgic tear to this cold heart of mine. <laughs> but I'm really happy to have it. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think of this figure. Are you going to collect it? Does it bring back some really fond memories of the classic Spawn figures from the past? Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Ashen Figure, Lego reviews, and a bunch of other stuff down the pipeline. All right, thank you so much, guys.